Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is David Ivory. Today I'm back in the holy city in Jerusalem. I hope that you've been enjoying my videos. Have you noticed the uh, subtitles, the captions below? I've been adding subtitles in a, a whole bunch of different languages. So if your language is other than English, please do check out the subtitles. There's also in English as well, by the way. So check out the subtitles. Tell me what you think about them. And uh, if you notice that they are missing in your language, then let me know about that too. Subscribe, click the uh, notification button, and enjoy the tour. We are on a grown street now near the American Embassy. I'll flip it over and uh, let's see what we see in the town. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, is the Rosary Monastery guest uh, church and guest house. This is one of their locations. It's the, the larger and more elaborate location. There's another location in the old city of Jerusalem, which I had passed by on the Christian Quarter, um, the Christian Quarter tour. So you might have seen the Rosary's Sisters Monastery in the, the old city of Jerusalem. Here you can see this uh, larger church and uh, uh, guest house. Let's get closer to the blue historical sign. See what this says. Convent of Sisters of Rosary, the convent and Catholic school belonging to the order of the Rosary Sisters. Of the, Ro this, the order of the Sisters of Rosary was built in stages over a 50 year period, beginning in 1887. It's symmetrical in shape. It is symmetrical in shape with a round church situated in the center of the main facade. And you can see the golden flower on the top, Jerusalem, the built heritage. In Hebrew it says, Moreshet Habinuya, the built heritage. And here on the gate you can see some more of the same similar flowers, but they're painted in black. And here you can see a grown street number 14, Rosary Convent Hostel, a grown street number 14, no cars allowed inside. The rosary, and you can see the rosary. You can see the beads on the fence of the wall, uh, on the fence of the gate above us. Now we are on a grown street in Jerusalem. And uh, We are near an American, uh, the American Embassy building. Let's see what this says. This is interesting. Dragon teeth, pyramid-shaped concrete barriers called dragon teeth, which the British mandate placed against tanks during World War II, formed the, to defend government institutions, mines, pegs, and barbed wire fences were scattered among the stones. These are the stones, the dragon teeth. And the blue sign is a historical, historical sign uh, for historical uh, sites. You can see on the right side, it has the Moatza de Shimur, the Council for Preservation of uh, Moreshit historical sites. And on the right side is the emblem of the city of Jerusalem. And below, there are emblems of three other government agencies that are involved in the uh, preservation. Here you can see the Independence Park, the Jerusalem Independence Park. And you can see the... You can't choose it. And you can see the flags of Germany. On the you no, I'm not listening to you. You can't choose. I'm. What you don't understand? Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey man, man, excuse me. Just stay. Excuse me. Yes. This stay. is no, this is a public street. Do not get in my way. Yeah. This fellow is trying to get in my way. 
while I'm filming on a public street. We'll see how this ends. So I'm walking on a public street, on a grown street in Jerusalem, and we can see the German flags, and we are going to continue on our way, walking on a grown street, and then we will cross over into the Independence Park. So, so far, we are doing all right. Those guards who tried interfering with my work are civilian guards for the American Embassy in Jerusalem. It will be interesting to see how far we get with this. They said that they're going to call the police. And I am continuing on my way. Hopefully, for me and you, we will get through this without any more commotion. Here we're passing by the Mamila Cemetery. In the center of Jerusalem, which is between Agron Street and Nachalat Shiva, Hillel Street. And the huge building to our right is the Museum of Tolerance. This whole commotion about the Museum of Tolerance being built on property that was part of the Muslim cemetery that we see around us. But also the Palace Hotel, which has now become the Waldorf Astoria, which is behind us, was also built by the Islamic Council on property that was part of the Mamila Cemetery. And at that time, when the Muslim Trust, the Waqf, and the Muslim Islamic Council decided to build the hotel, they passed ruling that it is permissible to build on this property to move the graves, or I'm not ex exactly sure how they determined that it was okay, but they, that is what the authorities based their decision on when they decided that the property owners of the Museum of Tolerance could build here. Could build a museum in spite of the Islamic opposition. Now we are crossing Hillel Street 
and we are going to walk into a neighborhood that is called Nachalat Shiva, which was one of the very first neighborhoods that was built outside of the old city of Jerusalem at the end of the 19th century. See the sign here, Yoel Moshe Salomon. If you have seen my video tour in Petach Tikva at the Founders Square, we also saw commemoration of Yoel Moshe Salomon, who is one of the founders of Petach Tikva. So he came from Jerusalem, he founded this neighborhood and other ones. And then he also went to Petach Tikva, he and his associates, Nachalat Shiva, a state of seven. The third Jewish neighborhood outside of the old city, an initiative of seven of the prominent veteran Jewish community in Jerusalem, built in 1869 as a courtyard neighborhood divided into seven lots. In 1988, the municipality started rehabilitation project in cooperation with the Ministry of Tourism, the property owners, and the Jerusalem Fund under the supervision of architect Nahum Meltzer. Now we're walking into the courtyard of the courtyard neighborhood, Nachalat Shiva. So the main street of the neighborhood is called Nachalat Shiva and there are two or three other streets in the inner courtyard. And you can see that a lot of the building here is from the end of the 19th century. This is the Sephardi Synagogue, which still operates today. And there are restaurants here. You can see the kangaroo restaurant. There are some guest houses. This is one of the ancient synagogues or old. It's an old neighborhood. It's not an ancient neighborhood. It's about 150 years old. So we're still here at the Nachalat Shiva. This is an entrance to a synagogue. It's the, synagogue, the Sephardi synagogue called Ohel Yitzchak. And these are the times of the prayers. You can see the courtyard of the 19th century neighborhood. And here you can see an alleyway back to Nachalat Shiva'a Street. This is a neat place with restaurants and uh, it's cut off only for uh, pedestrians. No cars here. There are some artists and some restaurants. gift shops. Now, as you can see, the right train is always a sign that we are on Jaffa Street if we are in the center of Jerusalem. The train goes east to west on Jaffa Street from the old city to the central bus station to the, the Cords Bridge. Thank you. 
So, so far today on our tour, we were able to say no to censorship by the, the guards of the American embassy who tried to take over the public street and forbid me from giving a video tour of the street. Even though I really did not film the, the embassy itself. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Share it with your friends and let me know. You are.